Seth Tepe's remarks come after calls from different stakeholders, including lawmakers who are against the e-levy for the government to run to the International Monetary Fund, IMF, for financial support and policy credibility. Although the government insists on not going back to the IMF, the former finance minister believes the country's problems of being locked out of the international capital markets, among others, will compound in the coming years if government remains adamant and does not take decisive action immediately. He spoke to City TV's Bernard Avle. It is the prerogative of government to say that we want to go, but they are acting on all, all our behalf. Yes, it's sovereign. The sovereignty resides in the people. So if you say you are not going to the IMF, give us, uh, give us your program. For me, that's my simple request. Because the markets don't believe that the budget. You read the Fitch report. The Fitch report is saying that the markets don't believe, you know, that the budget is a solution for us having market assets. Right? So that is the question facing the country now. And I'm saying if we don't, it will only compound. In three years, the commitment that we have to make. And we have, as we speak now, we have to borrow to do refinancing. And so I see even year levy, not in terms of those systemic structural challenges that we have, because they're in the medium term. I see it as providing the immediate liquidity that is needed. But the reason some of us also are opposed to year levy is that you are taxing service, and it's regressive. Meanwhile, the government has reaffirmed its decision not to return to the IMF for support. According to a deputy finance minister, Abnau Se Asari, the e-levy is a better alternative to a potential return to the IMF. Globally, there are issues everywhere and all countries are trying very hard to find space within themselves to develop. And then you have issues that you want to raise more revenue and you say, I'm shelving that and running to IMS. What happened to homegrown solutions? This is one form that I believe is telling all and sundry that we can do it and we can do it ourselves. Let us come together, support this government to push through the e-levy and we will see the results of the e-levy. This tax measure that we come out with, we review it from time to time. Once we review and then we see where it is going, I believe that the Ghanaians will say that, yes, we came up with a homegrown solution and it's worked for us. Currently, as I speak to you, there are no plans of going to the IMS. The plans we have is a homegrown solution that we are asking all and sundry to help us, support us and move this e-levy action bill forward.